this opportunity to welcome our visitors if you're visiting us here tonight. Amen. We are so happy that you are with us. We're going to give you an opportunity to give us a quarter of the June to come. God been good to you. Hallelujah. Let's give him another hand clap of praise. He is so good. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have your Bibles tonight, I want to go uh, directly to the word of the Lord. Amen. Of course, we are so thankful for what the Lord is doing uh, and what he's going to continue to do. Amen. I, I'm just so blessed and uh, so full of gratitude unto the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. But tonight I want to read from the book of Genesis chapter 50. And, uh, I'm going to read four verses of scripture and then we'll be seated and then I'll continue to read. In Genesis chapter 50 and beginning, beginning with verse 15. And we'll read all the way down to verse 26. The Bible says, And when Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, Joseph will preventure hate us and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. 
viendo los hermanos de José que su padre era muerto, dijeron quizás nos aborrecerá José y nos dará el pago de todo el mal que le hicimos. And he sent a messenger unto Joseph saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying. Y enviaron a decir a José, tu padre mandó antes de su muerte diciendo. So shall ye say unto Joseph, forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of thy brethren and their sin, for they did unto thee evil. And now we pray thee, forgive the trespass of the servants of uh, the God of thy father. And Joseph wept when they spake unto him. Así diréis a José, te ruego que perdones ahora la maldad de tus hermanos y su pecado porque mal te trataron. Por tanto, ahora te rogamos que perdones la maldad de los siervos del Dios de tu padre. Y José lloró mientras hablaba. Amen. And uh, his brethren also went and fell down before his face. And they said, Behold, we be thy servants. Vinieron también sus hermanos, se postraron delante de él y dijeron, llenos aquí por siervos tuyos. And Joseph said unto them, fear not, for I am in the place, uh, for I am in the place of God. Y le respondió José, no temáis, acaso estoy yo en el lugar de Dios. And you may be seated. Y pueden tomar and, su asiento. And we'll continue to read. Y continuaremos leyendo. But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good. To bring to pass as it is the day, uh, this day to save much people alive. Now therefore, fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. Así los consoló y les habló al corazón. And Joseph dwelt in Egypt, he in his father's house, and Joseph lived 110, uh, 110 years. Y habitó José en Egipto, él y la casa de su padre, y vivió José 110 años. And Joseph saw Ephraim's children of the third generation, the children also of uh, Mashin, the son of Manasseh, which uh, brought up upon Joseph's knee. Y vio José los hijos de Efraín hasta la tercera generación. También los hijos de Maquir, hijo de Manasés, fueron criados sobre las rodillas de José. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I die, and God will surely visit you and bring you out of this land unto the land which he swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Y José dijo a sus hermanos, yo voy a morir, mas Dios ciertamente os visitará y hará subir de esta tierra la tierra que juró a Abraham, a Isaac, y a Jacob. And Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you and ye shall carry up my bones from hence. So Joseph died being 110 years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. Amen. We, for the last uh, couple of months now, uh, have been on this uh, here in Genesis on this topic of Joseph's life and as you see uh, the, the overall theme was taken from this 50th chapter that uh, the words of Joseph when he said God meant it for good and with that overall topic we, we discuss various subtopics at different point in Joseph's life. And as I studied this uh, Joseph's story a little bit more, there, there is a whole lot more uh, uh, that I want to to uh, get into. And this theme of Joseph and Joseph's life will probably come back uh, periodically uh, in, in either preachings or teachings. But because there is just so much, uh, so much uh, good, uh, uh, well, what I say, some very good lessons and principles and um, typology. Because uh, Joseph is a type of Christ, his life. And so today, uh, I kind of want to bring our, our study of this great man of, of Joseph, at least at this point, kind of to a close. Jo Joseph's life has been a series 
of la, trials and tragedies. La vida de José ha sido una serie de tragedias. Uh, his has been a road marked by many valleys and very few mountains. Su jornada ha sido marcada con muchos valles y pocas montañas. We, we have seen the difficult life he had as a child. Hemos visto la vida difícil que tuvo desde niño. We have witnessed the hatred and cruelty of his brothers. Hemos sido testigos de la crueldad y el celo de sus hermanos. We have seen him working as a slave. Hemos visto cómo trabajó como esclavo. We have seen him being falsely accused and imprisoned. Y cómo fue acusado falsamente y echado a prisión. We have seen him uh, forgotten and abandoned. Y lo hemos visto que fue olvidado y abandonado. We have seen him taken out of that prison and elevated to a position of prestige. A position of power and uh, prominence in Egypt. We have witnessed how Joseph was reunited with his brothers. We saw God use him to bring his brothers to a place of repentance. We ultimately see in this story Joseph reunited with his father. We have seen the highs and the lows of Joseph's life. And through every valley and across every mountain there is one truth that is held that God meant it all for the good. Amen. Even as Joseph's uh, nears the end of his life in these verses. He continued to display a remarkable faith in God. Uh, an amazing faith in God. It, it is that faith and confidence that I, I kind of want to talk about today. As I have studied and, and, and taught on the these series of sermons or lessons. One thing has been confirmed and reaffirmed in, in my heart and in my mind. And that is the truth that, that God is behind every event that occurs in our lives. There, I, I just cannot fathom or believe or imagine that there are any accidents. God cannot be surprised. And so things that occur in our lives are ordered of the Lord. And there's no such thing as coincidence. I know a lot of times we use this word, but, uh, but deep down we understand there's no such thing as coincidence when it comes to the children of God. God puts everything in its place for the people of God to fulfill his perfect will. And there is only one providence and, 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 and the outworking of the perfect will of God. This is very clear in the scriptures. In Ephesians 1 and 11, that he worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Of his own counsel. He counsels with himself. Amen. And so he works everything. And that includes our lives. So we don't have to worry or wonder if we're just kind of aimlessly going about this life. If things are removed from our life, God removed it. If, if things have been added to our life, God added them. If I'm hurt, God allowed it. If I'm lifted up, it was God's hand that was under me. I'm going to say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As Joseph approaches the end of his earthly life, I want you to see some steps that Joseph took that 
that demonstrates uh, his absolute confidence in the providence of God. Uh, and so uh, to kind of finish this out, round this out tonight, uh, amen, I, I know that it's the overall theme has been uh, God meant it for good, but tonight's lesson, sermon, slash sermon is God meant it for good. Yo sé que el tema ha sido uh, Dios lo hizo para bien, pero el mensaje o, o enseñanza esta noche Dios lo hizo para bien. I, I want you to see tonight that Joseph. Yo quiero que usted mire que José releases his past. Uh, dejó ir su su pasado. That Joseph remembers God's providence. Que José recordó la providencia de Dios. And that Joseph rests on the promises of God. Y que José en las promesas de Dios. These steps leave us no doubt Estos pasos no nos deja a duda alguna. that uh, Joseph understood that God was in absolute control of every event in his life. Que José entendió que Dios estaba en control absoluto en todo evento en su vida. And let's consider this text and 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 learn the truth that God meant it for good. Y consideramos este texto que Dios lo hizo para bien. We read in verse 15 through verse 19. Y leímos en versículo 15 al versículo 19. We see that Joseph releases his past. Vemos que José se deshace de su pasado. And I think that I could probably stay on this one thing for this whole study. Because there is such power in releasing the past. After the death of Jacob, the brothers of Joseph are so worried. They recall all the terrible things that they had did to Joseph years ago. They begin to remember how they hated him. How they sold him into slavery. They remembered how they covered up uh, his disappearance with the lie that, that he was dead. These things and many others. Y estas cosas con muchas otras. And now they are afraid. Y ahora ellos tienen temor. And they are sure that now that their father is dead, that Joseph is going to unleash his vengeance upon them. So they come up with a plan. They sent someone, a messenger, the Bible says, to Joseph. And they want him to believe that Jacob left word for him to forgive uh, his brothers before he died. And when Joseph hears these words, he weeps, the Bible says. And this, in, I, I, the Bible does not specify why he weeps. I, we could only surmise, and, and this is my summation tonight. I could only imagine that once again Joseph is hurt. But he, it shows the depth of his character. He does not lash out at his brethren. He weeps, I believe, because I would imagine he's thinking after all this time after all the kindness that I have shown to you you still think of me so small as to look for revenge for my past. Todavía piensas de mí tan pequeño de 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 yo tomar venganza de mi pasado. I that's how I read the scripture. Esta es la manera como yo leo la escritura. I I don't know the inner workings of the family. I don't know what happened in that time frame when they they were reunited to the time that Jacob died. But I believe that his weeping Pero yo me que su gives us an insight nos da that, una, uh, algo that Joseph, no doubt, during that time must have been kind to his family. During that time, he must have shown his brothers quizás en ese tiempo, él le mostró a sus hermanos that the things that were in the past que las cosas que estaban en el pasado are in the past. Se quedaron en el pasado. 
But yet they still think that he's looking for revenge. Pero aún así ellos piensan que él está buscando venganza. And it was never in Joseph's heart. Y nunca estuvo en el corazón de José. To hold on to their past. De sostenerse or, a su pasado. Or hold their past over them. O sostener el pasado sobre ellos. Anytime he wanted something. Cada vez que él quería algo. Or anytime there was a family argument. O cada vez que había un argumento en familiar. He didn't pull out the secret weapon. No sacó aquella arma secreta. You think I'm unfair? Decirle, quizás piensas que yo soy injusto. You remember what you did to me? ¿Te recuerdas lo que tú me hiciste a mí? It was never his intention. Nunca fue su intención. To hold that over them. De sostener eso en contra de ellos. He had forgiven them for their transgression a long time ago. Él les había perdonado sus transgresiones a un tiempo atrás. I think he showed his love for his brethren when he revealed himself to them. Yo creo que él demostró su amor a sus hermanos cuando él se reveló a ellos. When he said, "I am Joseph." Cuando él se dio a conocer diciendo, "Yo soy José." And once again, he began to weep before his brethren. Y además él comenzó a llorar delante de sus hermanos. Much emotion I can imagine. A mucha emoción. But I imagine that in those tears, tears of thankfulness unto God, that His promises were true, the tears of thankfulness that He reminded, that God reminded Him, I brought you to this place, to this time. But in those tears, I could only imagine that there had to be love for His brethren thinking I'm with my family again. Pero en esas lágrimas que él derramó, yo me imagino que tuvo que haber ese amor para sus hermanos que se pudo reunir una vez más con ellos. And so he he had forgiven them for así, their transgression. Así que él los había perdonado por sus transgresiones. And as Joseph nears the end of his life, y mientras que José llega al final de su vida, he can look back with a clear conscience. Él puede mirar hacia atrás con una conciencia There's tranquila. not one recorded record no hay una record uh, aquí en la, en la historia that he harmed not one of his brethren que él lastimó dañó a uno de sus hermanos not one record that he holds a grudge against any of them no se dice que él guardó algo en contra de alguno de ellos in fact he de reminds hecho, his brothers de hecho le recuerda a sus hermanos and we read that he is not in the place of God. Y leímos que él no está en el lugar de Dios. In other words, en otras palabras, there he's saying you don't have to fear me. Él le dice no tiene que temerme a mí. The, the wrong that you had done to me, el mal que ustedes me han hecho a mí, that you're going to face a higher power. Entonces ustedes se van a enfrentar a un poder más alto. Someone's going to judge you, but it won't be me. Alguien le va a juzgar a ustedes, pero no va a ser yo. Amen. Eventually, they would stand before God. Eventualmente, ellos van a estar de pie delante de Dios. And for Joseph, y concerniendo a José, that's a good way to die. Es una manera buena de morir. Amen. To leave it, leaving the past in the past. De dejar el pasado en el pasado. As we pass through life, y mientras atravesamos la vida, there are going to be times when we were hurt by the words and the actions of others. Va a haber esos momentos que vamos a ser lastimados por las palabras y acciones de otros. It's inevitable. Es algo inevitable. It's going to happen. Va a suceder. Unfortunately, it might happen more times than it should. Desafortunadamente va a pasar quizás más de lo de lo que usted imagina. But be ready. Pero esté listo. You will be hurt. Va a ser lastimado. By brethren. Por sus hermanos. Amen. It's going to happen. It's, it, we're going to be hurt by harsh words or, or deeds. Va a suceder por palabras, o sea, por hechos. We can be angry. Vamos, que vas, vamos a estar enojados. We can hold a grudge. Podemos sostener aquello. And, and we can seek revenge. Y buscar esa venganza. Or, or we can forgive. O podemos perdonar. Amen. And leave the matter in the hands of God. Y dejarle este asunto en las manos de Dios. This is a scriptural mandate from the Lord. Es un de la escritura de parte del Señor. To forgive your brother. Que usted to love hermano. your brother. Que ame su hermano. You know, as I was studying this, ¿Ves? Cuando yo estaba estudiando esto, the word reconciliation came to me a lot. La palabra reconciliación vino a mí. Because uh, that's this is a story of reconciliation. Esta es una historia de reconciliación. And there is a type of Joseph is a type of Christ. His life is is a type of Christ. Y José es un tipo de Cristo. Su vida es como un tipo de Cristo. And of course we were reconciled. We were reconciled to God. Y de acuerdo, fuimos reconciliados con Dios. And so reconciliation was a constant thought or theme. So reconciliación fue un constante through, tema through this uh, through this whole process of Durante Joseph. Durante todo este proceso de José. And with his brothers. Y con sus hermanos. And as I started looking at this thing of, of reconciling and reconciliation. Y mientras que vi esta cosa de reconciliación, reconciliarse. 
The Lord showed me something. I believe that I believe it was the Lord showed me something. Eh, el Señor me mostró algo. Yo siento que el Señor me mostró algo. When we have done, been done wrong, cuando eh, se nos ha hecho algo un mal, we a lot of us want to forgive and a lot of us want to reconcile. Muchos queremos perdonar y queremos reconciliarnos. And so we wait for the the evil doer, so, as es, it were. Esperamos aquel que nos ha hecho mal, como si fuese, to come to us. Que él venga a nosotros. And ask forgiveness. Y que nos pida el perdón. And so the process of reconciliation. So, así que el proceso de reconciliación. In our mind is is what the how how sincere they are in their asking for forgiveness. How sincere they are in wanting to mend en offenses en as it were. nuestra mente es con, qué tan sincero ellos van a ser en querer remendar su ese daño que ellos hicieron. But what I saw in reconciliation. Pero lo que yo vi en la reconciliación. It's not about what the, the wrongdoer, their actions. No es las acciones de aquellos que te hicieron mal o aquel que te hizo mal. Reconciliation is about what Joseph. La reconciliación se trata de lo que José did to the wrongdoers. Hizo a aquellos que le hicieron daño. And it was show mercy and kindness and love and forgiveness. Y eso fue mostrarle misericordia, amor y bondad. If Perdón. there's to be reconciliation si va a haber reconciliación in the church en la iglesia, against brother or brother, sister and sister, con hermano, 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 hermana, stop waiting for the wrongdoer to ask for forgiveness. Deténgase que aquel que le hizo mal que le pida perdón a usted. Instead, pero de en vez pour de out eso, upon them as Joseph blessing vaya sobre ellos upon blessing. Y bendígalo así como José bendición sobre bendición. They, they brought money. Ellos trajeron dinero. Joseph gave it back. Pero José se lo regresó. Not only did he give it back, he gave them double. No solamente lo regresó, sino que le dio el doble. Not Amen. only that, they came seeking food. Joseph gave them more than they can even no carry. No solamente ellos buscando comida y José le dio más que ellos pudieran cargar. Amen. Amen. They came, they came thinking in fear. Ellos vinieron pensando that en temor. That, um, that revenge is about to fall upon us. Que revenge is about to fall upon us. La venganza va a caer sobre ellos. But no, Joseph once again weeps Pero in no. mercy. You have have nothing to fear with me. Oh, if the people, the people of God, if we could ever, if we could ever stop looking at everybody and saying, well, they wronged me and they wronged si me and they said this and they done that. And then instead say, what? Well, let's reconcile. So let me, Pero, let me bless them. Let me esto, show them love. Reconciliarme con ellos. Déjame bendecirles, demostrarle amor. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what reconciliation is, and you know how I know. Esto es lo que se trata la reconciliación y sabe cómo yo sé. Because we we're reconciled unto God. Porque fuimos reconciliados con Dios. Amen. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yo siento el Espíritu Santo. And it was not. It, it's not that I came to God and said, "Forgive me, Lord," while you were yet. Y no es que yo vine al Señor diciendo al Señor, yo soy un pecador, pero dice la palabra de Dios cuando fuimos pecadores. Christ. Died. Cristo murió. Woo. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. Yo siento el Espíritu Santo. That's what reconciliation is. Eso es lo que se trata la reconciliación. Hallelujah. And so if we're gonna reconcile one with another. Así que vamos a reconciliarnos uno con el otro. Amen. Don't be waiting for somebody to bring the the sacrificial offerings to you. No espera que alguien traiga esa ofrenda de sacrificio a usted. And we sometimes we require. Uh, Burnt offerings and lambs and blood of bullocks and everything. Sacrificio de la cordero y todo esto. To forgive. Para poder perdonar. And, and it's not that. Y no se trata de eso. It's about as Joseph. Se trata así como José. What was then was then. Lo que fue a, pasó atrás. And what happened atrás. was because God meant it for good. Y lo que pasó es porque Dios lo hizo para bien. Amen. Hallelujah. When the hurtful words and the harsh deeds of others break our hearts, we only really have two courses of action. And like I said, that we can hold on to it. In English, we say hold a grudge. In English, we say hold a grudge. Or we can forgive o podemos perdonar there's only two things i mean it's Solamente one or the other dos, dos maneras una o la otra 
And Joseph was able to go to his grave y José quizás fuera ido a su sepultura with a good conscience. con una buena conciencia. He said, I, my brothers are in the clear. He says, I'm not, I'm not going to bless you, but I'm going to bless generations of your children. My, my, my. We can leave, leave some matters in the hands of God instead of always rehashing them and repicking them up and reminding. It's too much work. Es mucho trabajo eso. That is way too much work. Es mucho trabajo. It's so much easier just to forgive. Es más fácil perdonar. One day we're, we're all going to leave this world. Un día todos vamos a ir de este mundo. I wonder y yo me, me if, pregunto, if that time for us was tonight que si ese tiempo fue esta noche, would we leave this world with a clear conscience? Nos de este mundo con una conciencia tranquila. Here's what you need to do. Esto es lo que tú, usted tiene que hacer. If you are the one that has offended, si usted es uno que ofendió, you need to go <coughs> and ask for forgiveness. Usted tiene que ir y pe pedir perdón. If you've done something, you hurt somebody, si usted hizo algo, there's, nothing wrong, alguien, there's nothing wrong with asking for forgiveness. No hay nada malo en pedir perdón. If you are the offended party, si usted es el que fue ofendido, first take it before the Lord. Primero lléveselo al Señor. Okay, Lord, I don't, I don't understand Decirle, Señor, no entiendo what you're doing. Lo que tú estás haciendo. They, they hurt me. They hurt my heart. They attack my family. Me lastimaron, lastimaron mi corazón, mi familia. I, don't, I don't get it, God. No, no lo entiendo, Dios. But I'm going to bring it before you. <coughs> Pero lo voy a traer delante de ti. And strive to reach a place of forgiveness. Y tratar de alcanzar un lugar, llegar a un lugar de, de perdón. <coughs> I have never seen someone Nunca yo he visto a alguien that is hold, held on to things que ha, ha sostenido o retenido cosas happy. Uh, que fuese feliz. They might, they might smile, there might be moments in, in, in situational sí sonrían por momentos, events, situaciones o eventos, but deep down inside, pero a lo profundo de ellos, there is no happiness de ellos, no hay felicidad, because you're, 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 you're carrying this giant burden porque está cargando esta carga pesada, and it's weighting you down y lo está manteniendo abajo, and you can never truly have the joy of the Lord. Y nunca verdaderamente puede tener el gozo del Señor. The Lord said, el Señor dijo, if you have ought against your brother, si tienes algo en contra de tu hermano, He said, leave the sacrifice. Dice, deja el sacrificio. That means all your apostolic formalities. Eso quiere decir todas las formalidades apostólicas. God, he's not impressed. Dios no está impresionado con eso. He said, leave your sacrifice at the altar. Dijo, deja tu sacrificio en el altar. And go make it right with your brother. Pero ve y regrese ya lo bien con tu hermano. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Until you do, hasta que esto lo haga, your relationship with God will never be what it could be. La relación entre usted y Dios no va a ser lo que debe de hacer. How many say praise the Lord? Cuando dicen gloria a Dios. Hallelujah. And in this, in this, uh, in the closing of this, uh, of the, Uh, Joseph's life. Encerrar la historia de la vida de José. I, I don't. I, there's so much more to it. Hay mucho and, más and, and en I know I'm, en I'm oversimplifying it. Y lo estoy But really, is it that hard? Pero es tan, así, tan I'm going to try to save you thousands of dollars in therapy. Yo te voy a de dólares, de en For up here. Para tu mente. How do you let it go? How do you forgive them? ¿Cómo tú puedes dejar ir todo esto, soltarlo y perdonar? What's the key? How do you do it? ¿Cuál es la llave, la clave? ¿Cómo lo haces? You just let it go. Simplemente lo dejas ir. Amen. You can send the check to 313 Anthony Lane. Usted le puede mandar el cheque a 311 Anthony Lane. <laughs> Just let it go. Solamente déjalo ir. Man. That's right. Man. <coughs> Joseph was able to leave this world José pudo irse de este mundo with a clean conscience. Con una and, tranquila. and he said, he, 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 he gave 
you gave a prophecy and blessing. You, they, y él see dio what I'm saying? Y Gosh, I, I, I should just stop right here because that's just, that's just so good. Aquí. Esto está bueno. He was, he was blessed. And, 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 and I have to say Joseph is a better man than I am. I would have. Yo puedo decir que José fue un mejor hombre que yo. That's some betrayal. That's hard stuff. Hay, hay ahí. Es algo muy But he blesses them. Pero él los bendice. He said, Egypt's not going to be your home. Y le dice, Egipto no va a ser su no va a ser tu casa. You're going to leave this place. Él le dice, tú vas a salir de este lugar. Amen. Brothers, I want you to know Hermanos, que that God is going to bring you to the land of promise que Dios lo of Abraham, a, a Isaac, la tierra, and Jacob. A la tierra prometida que le prometió Abraham, a Isaac, y Jacob. And this is how good his clear his conscience is. Esto tan, cl tan claro que tenía sana su mente. When you leave Egypt, cuando tú te vas de Egipto, You carry my bones out of this place. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a life with a clean conscience. And there's nothing like being able to go to bed at night. I go to bed at night and I sleep, I sleep well. For the most part, I mean, I sleep I have but I mean I sleep my conscience I, I have nothing against nobody I have no grudges no bitterness no, no nothing and it's, it's, a, it's that's, that's a good life leave the things in the past hallelujah let me move on But I like that. I like that thought. We could be there for a long, long time. Me gusta este pensamiento. Podemos estar mucho tiempo en esto. But but Joseph leaves the things in the past. Pero José dejó las cosas atrás en el pasado. But he also remembers in, in verses 20 and 21. Y en versículo 20 y 21. He remembers God's providence. Él recordó la providencia de Dios. Now he doesn't. He doesn't pretend that what his brothers did was not evil. Ahora no él no pretende él que las cosas que hicieron sus hermanos no fueron algo malas. Because obviously it was. Porque obviamente sí lo fueron. He knew the intent of their heart. Él conoció conocía las intenciones de su corazón. After all, he was there when they they betrayed him and they sold him as a slave. Después de todo él estaba presente cuando lo vendieron, traicionaron y lo vendieron como esclavo. But Joseph saw a deeper than their intentions. Pero José miró lo más profundo que sus intenciones. In spite of what his brothers were doing in their actions. Y a pesar de lo que sus hermanos estaban haciendo de acuerdo a sus acciones. Somehow Joseph was knew that God was doing something far more wonderful. De alguna manera José se dio cuenta que Dios estaba haciendo algo más maravilloso. And yes, they the, they sinned against Joseph. Y sí, ellos pecaron en contra de José. But God even used their sin to accomplish his eternal plan. Pero aún Dios usó aquellas uh, cosas malas que ellos hicieron para cumplir su plan. In, in one verse, y en un versículo, Joseph looks back on 30 years of trial. José mira esos 30 años de pura tribulación. And triumph. Y de triunfo. And acknowledges God's hand in every detail of his life. Y reconoce la mano de Dios en cada detalle en su vida. He knows that the hatred and the betrayal. Él sabe que la traición y los celos. The slavery. El odio. The, the slavery, the imprisonment, the loneliness and the separation. La esclavitud, la prisión, el abandono, la separación. He somehow knew that they were all part of a much bigger plan. De una manera se dio cuenta que fue algo de un mayor plan. God uses the valleys. El Señor usa los valles. And the victories of Joseph's life. Y la victoria de la vida de José, to reach Joseph's brothers para alcanzar los hermanos de José, to encourage Jacob one more time para, uh, uh, dar ese ánimo a José una vez más, uh, to Jacob a Jacob, uh, to bring the children of Israel to Egypt para traer los hijos de Israel a Egipto, and to literally y para literalmente, save the world poder salvar al mundo. surely y verdaderamente, surely verdaderamente, God meant it for good yo lo hizo para bien. I wonder what wonderful things God is going to bring out of your suffering I wonder what wonderful things that God's going to bring out of those that betrayed you I wonder what God's going to do in your hurt or, or, or through your hurt or through your hurt Hallelujah. It goes without saying that God will probably uh, um, do something extraordinary in the lives of those en la vida de aquellos who can walk the same path of Joseph. Now, it's, I'm not 
que puedan caminar el mismo camino que José. No, I'm not trying to once again oversimplify it. I know Ahora it's no not. Ahora no estoy tratando de simplificar esto. I know it's not an easy walk. Yo sé que no es un caminar fácil. But we are compassed with so great a cloud of witnesses. Pero somos a sobrellevados por esa testigo de de esa nube de testigos. Hebrews tells us. En hebreo nos dice. I did it. Nosotros lo hicimos. You can do it. Tú tú puedes hacerlo. You could withstand the betrayal. You can withstand you, you, tribulaciones. The betrayal. Tribulaciones. Amen. You can be you can withstand the hurt. Usted puede resistir aquel dolor. Because God's hand Porque la mano de Dios is in it. Está en ello. Amen. How many say praise the Lord? ¿Cuánto dicen gloria a Dios? Hallelujah. Now it's not likely that that our tragedies are going to save a whole nation. Ahora no es uh, algo común que las tragedias van a salvar a, a naciones. But we can be sure of one thing. Podemos, pero podemos estar seguros de una cosa. As we pass through this life. Mientras pasamos por esta vida. And uh, the fact that we're going through valleys. Y el, el hecho que estamos trabajando por valles. The fact that we've been hurt and betrayed. Y de hecho que hemos sido traicionados y dolidos. I don't, I don't, I don't need to save a nation. No necesito salvar una nación. Me. <coughs> if God will use whatever's happened in my life si Dios puede hacer cosa que, uh, pasó en mi vida, save my family eh, para a mi familia. <coughs> yes I want to see all of Laredo filled fill with the Holy Ghost and baptized si uh, ver todo Laredo ser en el de Jesús y en, y en el I want Santo. to see many get baptized in Jesus y name ver en el de Jesús. but above all that Pero sobre todo eso, my family my family Nothing is more important Nada than my family. Más importante que mi familia. And so if he can use whatever has happened to me Así que si él puede hacer for that, cosa que me ha a mí para eso, then I'm thankful. Entonces yo estoy agradecido. And that is the providence of God. Esa es la providencia de parte de Dios. Hallelujah. I know that we want the victory yo sé que queremos la victoria. more than the valley. Más que los valles. We like the good days more than we like the bad days. Now here's the question Ahora, aquí está la pregunta. that confronts us all tonight. Que nos <coughs> confronta a todos en esta noche. Are we willing to joyfully endure everything that life throws at us? Estamos dispuestos y gozosos a permanecer sobre las cosas que suceden en esta vida. Knowing <coughs> That God is behind it all. Sabiendo que Dios está atrás de todo esto. And that in the end, He's going to get the glory. Y de que al final él se llevará la gloria. Amen. Amen. That's the question. Esa es una pregunta. Are we willing to accept His will? Estamos dispuestos a aceptar su su voluntad. Even when it goes against our will. Aún cuando va en contra de nuestra voluntad. Knowing that through it all, He is developing us. Sabiendo que a través de todo esto él nos está haciendo crecer. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. When we pass through the hard places of life, por esos en nuestra vida, I, I know I'm guilty of it. Yo sé, yo soy mm, de it's ello. easy to forget that God is in control. Es fácil que Dios está en control. And the next time the, the life, as we say in English, pulls the rug out from under you. And remember, Recuerde that God is there to catch you when Dios you está fall. Ahí para sostenerlo cuando usted cae. Hallelujah. If I fall upon the rock, si yo caigo sobre la roca, I'm okay. Estoy bien. I just need not fall off the rock. Yo solamente necesito no caerme de la roca. Amen. Hallelujah. As long as I fall upon the rock. Mientras que yo caiga sobre la roca. Hallelujah. Amen. And then in verses 22 through 26 that we read. Y, y versículo 22 a 23 leímos. Amen. Joseph recognizes or Joseph uh, rests. A José reconoció. He rests on the, on, on the promises or the promise of God. Y descansó en las promesas, la providencia de Dios. After a long and productive and happy life. Después de una vida larga, productiva. It came time for Joseph to leave this world. Vino, llegó el tiempo que José se fuera de este mundo. That time came, y ese tiempo vino. He made the children of Israel that promise. E hizo esa promesa al, al pueblo de Israel. That, that when they leave, que cuando ellos se fuesen. To take his bones. Que se llevaran sus huesos. When they come out of Egypt. Cuando salieran de Egipto. See, because Joseph is claiming a promise of God. Ves, porque José estaba proclamando una promesa de parte de Dios. Made to his father many 
years before. Que se le fue hecha a su padre muchos años atrás. Joseph dies o se muere, believing that God will visit his people one day and take them to a better place. Creyendo que Dios visitará a su pueblo y lo llevará a aquel lugar prometido. Do you see how there's such there's some similarity in, in this? Puede ver la similitud que hay. Do we have a promise? Acaso nosotros tenemos una promesa of a better place? De un lugar mejor. Amen. Amen. My bones ain't staying here. Mis huesos no se van a quedar aquí. God made a promise Dios hizo una promesa to the patriarchs, the forefathers. Para los patriarcas, a nuestros padres. I will come again. That yo, where I am, there ye may be also. Yo voy a venir una vez más para donde yo estoy. Ustedes también puedan estar. And he is gonna, he's given us that assurance. Y él nos ha dado esa aseguranza. Uh, we're looking for one day a visitation from the Lord. Y estamos buscando aquel día de visitación de parte de Dios. Whether we leave this world naturally. Ya sea que nos vamos de este mundo naturalmente. No, we don't, we, we don't want that path. That path scares us. Ese camino no lo queremos. Ese camino nos asusta. I mean, that's being human. Our mortality Y eso siendo humanos, mortales. Mortales. Amen. But uh, whether it's through natural means or supernatural Pero sea means. Por cosas naturales o cosas, uh, uh, naturales. The fact is, we are all leaving this world. La cosa real es, es que vamos a de este mundo. And if you leave before me, y si usted se va que yo, Amen. This is not the end. Esto no es el final. Death is not the end. La muerte no es el final. Hallelujah. It's just the beginning. Solamente es el inicio. Our departed loved ones Aquellos que nuestros seres queridos who died in the faith. Que murieron en la fe. Amen. They died in the Lord. Que murieron en el Señor. I believe with all my heart. Yo lo creo con todo mi corazón. They are with him tonight. Que ellos están con él en esta noche. And that one day. Y que un día. Hallelujah. When we leave Egypt as it were. Cuando lo vayamos de Egipto como si fuese. Amen. The, the sea is going to give up her dead. Aquel mar, uh, Hallelujah. The sea is going to give up her dead. Uh, it don't matter where the bones are. No importa donde están los huesos. They're leaving this place. Se van a ir de este lugar. This is a promise for us. Esta es una promesa As para Joseph nosotros. rested upon a promise. Como José descansó sobre aquella promesa. Now our, our promise is much greater than that of Joseph. Ahora nuestra promesa es aún mayor que la promesa de José. Amen. John 14 tells us that the Lord goes to prepare a place for us. Juan 14 nos dice que el Señor va a ir a preparar un lugar para vosotros. That where he is there we, there we may be also. Que donde él está nosotros podemos estar también. He goes on to say in that same chapter that in my father's house are many Mansions. Now people get caught up on that many mansions uh, uh, debate. I mean, really, people? Yo me pregunto, ¿de veras? I mean, you're gonna. I mean, you're gonna argue over mansions. I mean, I, I, I don't care what it is. No me importa lo que sea. I don't care as, as long as I'm with Jesus. No me importa que lo menos que yo esté con Jesús. Put me in a trailer. I don't care. Póngame en una trailer. No me importa. I don't need a mansion. No necesito una mansión. I just want the promise. Yo solamente quiero la promesa. That he is going to return. Y que él va a regresar. And he is going to take us out of this place. Él nos va a llevar de este lugar. Amen. That where he is, there we may be also. Para donde él está, nosotros también podemos estar. Hallelujah and And so, though we, 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 we fear death, y la muerte, being human, it's natural, humanos, es natural. in the end, y a, it, as final, Joseph, I'm going to rest on his promise. Así como José, yo voy a en esta And that promise is eternal life. Y esa es una vida eterna. And I'm, I'm going to come to a close. Y yo voy a estar a punto de Joseph left this world. José se fue de este mundo. Uh, clinging uh, to great promises of the mighty God. He left this world right with God. Why was he right with God? Because he was right with his brothers. Can I get an amen? dicen amen? Don't think you're going to be right with God if you're not right with your brother. No piense que usted va a estar bien delante de Dios si no está bien con sus hermanos. Matter of fact, there are harsh words that the Lord speaks. De hecho, las palabras duras que el Señor habla. 
concerning those that say they love God concerning aquellos que dicen que aman a Dios but hate their brother pero aborrecen a su hermano Jesus says Jesús dijo that you're a murderer dice que es un homicidio You can't, you can't, he said you can't love God or say you love God but hate your brother. You're a murderer and of your father the devil the, the liar. That's harsh. That's harsh. So I, I want to leave this life right with my brother that I may be right with God and because of this he left this world with the full assurance that, that, that God was every step of the way with him knowing that death in Egypt was not the end for him reconociendo que la muerte en Egipto no era el final para él but that his family had a better future down the road pero que su familia tenía un mejor futuro en su jornada that's all that matters to me tonight eso es lo que me importa a mí en esta noche that I'm right with God de que yo esté bien con Dios and that my family's future will be better y que el futuro de mi familia sea un futuro mejor as we stand mejor. tonight and I, I come to a close mientras que se pone de pie voy a terminar hallelujah we've been it's been six Six, seven weeks now. Ha sido como seis o siete semanas ya. And, and I, I hope y yo espero that what we've gotten out of these lessons que lo que hemos obtenido de estas lecciones is that very simple truth. Es esa simple verdad. Is that when you woke up this morning es que cuando usted se despertó esta mañana, and when you lay your head down to rest tonight cuando usted se recostó su cabeza para dormir God was ordering your steps. Dios estaba ordenando sus pasos. And even when evil comes to our life, y aun cuando la maldad o el mal viene a nuestra vida, God will take that evil. Dios va a tomar aquello malo and turn it for good. Y lo va a hacer para bien. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. Amen. So watch this. So note esto. I know that we weep and we cry and we bemoan for us with frustration. Because there seems to be more bad and more evil. If there's more bad and more evil, that just means more good is coming. Eso significa que hay cosas mejores, buenas va a suceder. Hallelujah. Do you hear me tonight? Me escuchó en esta noche. So if I were you, so yo, si yo fuera usted, I'd be not focusing on Reuben and Simeon. No me enfocaría en Reuben y Simeon. Dan and Levi. En Dan y Le Levi. I, I wouldn't be focusing on Judah. No me enfocaría en Judá. No. No. I'd be focusing on God. Me enfocaría en Dios. What are you doing in my life, Lord? Señor, ¿qué estás haciendo en mi vida? I know this is for the good. Yo sé que esto es para el bien. Lift your hands and your voices in Alce sus manos y su voz en su presencia. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you're with us every step of the way. Every step of the way. There is nothing that happens by accident to us, Lord. Nothing is by coincidence. My weariness, my frustration, Hallelujah. Even my prison place and the betrayal, Lord, all that. You have a plan for it. Lord, don't withhold these things from me. But Lord, I pray you make me big enough. Make me strong enough that I may be able to endure. Hallelujah. These altars are open tonight, church. Is there anyone that wants to come tonight in closing of this series? And recognize it's all for the good.
olvidar 